it. <laughs> if you haven't looked at Benji's hair, it's, it's, uh, if you haven't looked at Benji, actually, <laughs> it's like all of Benji. Okay, cool. Um, hi, my name is VD. I'm Black Trans Poet. Um, I'm gonna do some poems for y'all. Um, we'll just get right into the first one. And then I'll run them off a little bit. Okay, so she's doing another gender poem. This, I'll have to correct someone after this poem is over, poem. This, why do you have to stare so much, poem. Another, God damn it, why won't she shave if she wants us to believe her, poem. Another, so what's your story, poem. Another, so how big is it, poem. Another, I'm not gay, but let me suck it, poem. Another, if I can't give birth, I'm not a manifestation of myself, poem. Another, it's an it because he won't acknowledge that he's not a she, poem. Another, Body count and waiting poem, another body, body, body poem. Of course it's a gender poem. But if my gender were valid, I wouldn't feel the need to write this poem. I wouldn't have to look at bathrooms like courtrooms, wouldn't have to move through states like a secret agent, wouldn't have to hold my gender in my hands like a plea for my humanity if you were tired of hearing that marginalized people are marginalized. Let's squash the margins. Yes, you will lose a privilege or five, but you'll get a break from the narrative we are definitely tired of repeating. But until then, here's this gender poem. <laughs> this, did I put on enough makeup today poem? This, is he following me home poem? This, is my body more of a prison than a body poem? This, is my hair too short? Because people keep calling me he when it's short poem. This, ain't gonna be no riots when I die poem. This. Woman telling me my gender is between me and God and not me not knowing how to take that poem. This body, body, body poem. And as long as this poem bothers you, I will continue to write it. Like a prayer for change. Like a meditation for the day. I won't have to. Thank you. Thank you.